guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday to you all. So today's video I thought I would give you all a little bit of a life update, tell you all what's happening in my life, what's going on with me and um, share some really exciting news with you all. But if you are new to my channel then hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Shade and I am a mummy of one to my little boy Harrison and on my channel you will find all sorts of different kind of videos from vlogs to speed cleans to beauty videos hauls lifestyle videos mummy life videos just a whole different kind of videos on my channel if you like watching these sort of videos then make sure that you do subscribe to my channel click the little subscribe button down below somewhere and don't forget to click the little notification bell as well because then every time i upload a video you will get a notification when a video has gone live I have some exciting news to share with you all. So if you want to know what that exciting news is and what's going on with me at the minute, then uh, just keep on watching this video. So I wanted to film this video just to give you all like a little bit of a life update and tell you all what's going on with me. Um, and yeah, just give you a bit of an insight what's happening as of lately in my life and update you all. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you probably won't know this, but I went for a job interview just over a week ago now, just coming up to two weeks, maybe something like that. And um, I went to the job interview on the Tuesday and then I think I got a phone call back on the Thursday. It was a Thursday, something, yeah. I think I got a phone call back like two days later to say that I have been successful and I have got the job. So yes, I have a job. This mama has a job. I am now a working mum, which is just crazy. So the day you're watching this, which is Friday, I will, well, I will have just come back from my induction day. So that's exciting. And I'm assuming that my start date will be on the Monday. Um, but obviously, if you follow me on Instagram, then you will know that because I'll probably update you all on there. So you're all probably thinking, what job is it? Um, where am I going to be working? And it's only part time. So it's 20 hours a week, which is perfect for me. And the hours are just absolutely perfect for me. I could not be more happier than the hours that I've got. I did originally apply for a, a night shift job, but... I had to decline it when I got to my interview. She still interviewed me and stuff, and I had to like uh, politely decline the hours that they were offering me because they just weren't suitable for me. Um, I could have done them, but the hours that they offered me were from nine o'clock at night till basically nine o'clock in the morning the next day. So a night shift job, 10 hours, and that would have been okay, but it's just that James goes to work at 6 a.m. in the morning, so there would have been no one to look after Harrison, and then that would have meant I'd have to look after Harrison all day because there's no one else to look after him because everyone that we know, like family and stuff, they work and their shift patterns are all over the shop. So it just wouldn't have been ideal and I don't know if I could have work, basically work um, and not sleep for like 48 hours and look after Harrison. I just don't think I could have done it. So um, I had to decline that offer. I did say to the woman, I said, I'm going to have to decline. I did ask the woman that if she could keep me on their records, on their files, so that if there was a job that became available that was more suitable for me, preferably something that was after like say five o'clock, that's when Jake, because James will be home and I can I can go to work then, which would have been perfect. Um, and she did say, yes, we will keep you on the file and if anything comes up, then we will give you a call. Now, I honestly didn't think that she would ever gonna like call me back. So when they called me again the next day, I was just like shocked because I didn't expect it. And she just basically said to me, we've got some really great news. Um, we've got a job opening that's just come available for a five to nine job. And I instantly just accepted it straight away. So I took the job because the hours are just perfect for me. So James normally gets home around, I don't know, maybe around that time, dinner time, tea time. And then I can go to work from five till nine and come home and then I've got the evenings with James and we can just chill out together and I still get all day with Harrison so from when we wake up till till we go well basically yeah till I go to work so I can make his tea before I go to work and all James has to do is just feed him and put him to bed and bath him so I'm so happy that these hours are just perfect it's Monday to Friday and I get weekends off so I get every weekend off 
which is just amazing. I get to spend my weekends with my family, which is what I've always wanted. If you have been following me for a while, then you will know I have been looking for a job. I mean, there's been months where I probably haven't bothered to look because I've just kind of got fed up of looking because it was just nothing. I could not find anything. And I think it's been almost a year since I handed in my notice um, at my old job which just wasn't, um, it just wasn't right. The job wouldn't have been right for me. Now my mum, I can't com keep commuting to Manchester every day knowing that my son would be up here being looked after nursery or whatever. Um, it just didn't sit well with me knowing that I am like an hour away and the fact that James works in Manchester as well. There's no, not one of us would be there as soon as possible if anything was to go wrong. So I basically just handed my notice in at my old job and I've wor I worked there for a good, was it five, six years? So I was there for a long time and you know, you're not gonna be at a job forever. There is times where you're just gonna hand in your notice and progress on to something different and have a little bit of a change of a career. So I kind of have had like a prolonged maternity leave, you could say, um, cause since like battling with my depression and my anxiety, James has always been there for me and he's supported me through all that and just said that he was happy for me to go back to work when I was ready to. And I do feel that, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, I would have loved not to go back to work, but I just feel that the time is right and I'm ready to go back to work. And I feel that this is gonna be good for me. By the way, if you can hear the rain, I do apologize. It's horrible weather out there. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel that, I don't know, the time is right for me to go back to work. I feel like I'm ready. And it's literally four days. It's four days. It's four hours a day. And I'm not like, Harrison goes to bed at seven. So if I'm starting work at five, that's two hours of my day where I'm not, like I don't get to see him kind of thing. Cause when I get home, he's gonna be asleep. So it's literally, it's perfect and I still get to spend loads of time with them. I can go out in the days with them. We can go to play groups. We can do lots of fun things and I can still do all that with them. And I'm just so, so happy. It's just so perfect for me. Um, so yeah, I am gonna be a working mum. It's gonna be hard juggling working. I mean, it's not long hours, but you know, working, being a mum, coming home, just doing general things, mummy house things and parent things. Um, I am still gonna be doing my YouTube channel. I'm not gonna like stop doing that because this is something that I've always wanted to do and I'm passionate about it. And I love creating um, YouTube videos and editing them. It's just something I really love doing. Same with Instagram. I love just creating content for Instagram and things like that. And ideally, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat around the bush and um, lie or anything like that. Ideally, I would love for this to be my full-time job. If this was to become my full-time job in the future, then that would be fab. But for now, I'm happy to just do this part-time, you know, on the side and work as well. It'll, it's gonna be fine, um, I'll manage it, it'll work all together. And yeah, I'm just gonna be juggling everything. <laughs> and um, in case you're wondering where I'm gonna be working, well, I'm gonna tell you. So where I'm gonna be working is probably one of my favorite shops ever. Um, I talk about it all the time. I do hauls on this place all the time. And um, yeah, if you haven't guessed already, I have a job in Primark. I'm gonna be working in Primark um, on the beauty department, which is just probably the best department that I could have ever been put on. <laughs> And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I don't really know what to expect. Like I was so nervous going to the interview, like like you would be with any interview, but um, I feel like I was, I just felt really confident. Like I went there and I had my Primark dress on and I was pretty much head to toe in Primark, I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, I just, I got good vibes from the interview and I was hoping that she was gonna, like, you know, offer me the job, but you just never know, do you? You're like, you could get really good vibes from a person that is interviewing you, but they could just turn you down. I didn't really know what to expect. But yeah, I've got the job, they offered me the job, and I'm just so happy and grateful the fact that, like, because I turned the job down at first, and then they rang me back with a different, um, a completely different job, because obviously the night shift job would have been working in the, in like the stock room, the warehouse, like doing all the stocks and stuff, and the fact that they've offered me a different job, better hours for me, it's just amazing, and I'm just, I'm just so happy. So this video would have gone live 
on Friday at six o'clock and I will have just probably been getting home from my induction because I've got my induction the day you're watching this on Friday and I'm not going to lie I'm a little bit nervous Um you just never know what to expect and the fact that I'm not working weekends in Primark <laughs> is just is amazing because if you've never been into Primark on a weekend then it's hella busy, it's hella busy. I mean, don't get me wrong, being busy is like amazing, you know, being busy is, is fab because you wanna be busy because your shift goes quicker and all that kind of stuff. But Primark is just carnage. Primark is carnage on a weekend. It's just so busy. So yeah, I'm gonna be working at Primark, which is probably not the best job for me, I'm not gonna lie. And I only mean that because my wages are probably gonna be spent on Primark every day like imagine if i get to work earlier and i'm like i'm just gonna have a little browse i'm probably gonna end up buying stuff every day it's probably not gonna be good for me but but anyway yeah i'm working at primark so that was just a little life update on me and what's going on at the minute and i thought i would update you all because you're probably all dying to know if i got the job or not <laughs> so yeah i did get the job i now work at primark um yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, make sure that you do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also make sure that you click the notification bell as well because then every time I upload, you will get notified. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.